everyone. I just joined Usborne Books and More um, at the beginning of July, and today is July 14th, and I just received my consultant kit, and I thought I would unbox it and let everybody see what's inside of it. Um, I did join during a special, so it was only $50, and it's a smaller kit. Um, I think there will be eight books in here, but I thought, um, if you can see, I haven't even opened it yet, so I thought I would unbox it. Um, for anybody that would like to see what's in it. Alright, so there's some paper in here right now. And the dog thinks everything that comes in the mail is for him. Paper! Paper! <laughs> okay, the first thing, just a packing slip. Okay, here we have Elf, the Elf Flute, Lily the Elf by Anna Bradford. Um, so you can see it's kind of like a beginning chapter book. There's some illustrations, but not much. So might be good for those beginner readers who are starting to move from the picture books to the chapter books. Um, not the best for him, but you know there could be somebody in my family that would enjoy that, um, or even one of my students. You guys stay here and watch. Quarter War is falling. Alright, the next book we have is Ants. Mm. Yeah, Ants, what do you think? Mm. Oh, this is very, very neat. Um, it looks like it's very informational. You can see there's the book contents. It just shows about um, what the ants are all about. It says Busy Ants. A lot of nice pictures. I don't know if you can see those, but those are very nice. It just tells you how um, ants will protect themselves, which is pretty neat as well. And then what happens when they're under attack. Oh, that's kind of cool. It shows um, how they grow up into adult, or into adult ants without a cocoon. So, a lot of great information there. I think I'll like this um, as he ages and he gets a little bit older. You gonna help Mama? Yeah. yeah. What are these? Um, these are just some consultant things, um, order sheets. So not that much fun for you guys to look at. You gonna help? Oh. This is Under the Sea Magic Painting. I don't know if you can see that. So comes with a paintbrush. It says, dip the pen into some water, then brush it into the black patterns and lines within the shapes to see the paint magically appear. Oh, so I think that you, all you do is you dip the paint brush into water and then it's just like watercolor painting. But it has some cool pictures. There's an octopus. Oh, there go. An octopus. I think those are penguins swimming. The fishies. What do you think, Brox? You want to paint the fishies? This would actually probably be a really good activity for him. Um, he is one. He just turned one. He's almost hey, he's almost 13 months. Um, and we actually did try painting the other day, which it was a lot of fun. Um, but very, very good. This might be something that's a little bit better for him. You want to pass the paper? You stay right there, okay? Um, what else? Seahorses. Dolphins, I believe. So, and if you remember, the title was Under the Sea. So everything is going to be ocean life, um, different ocean animals. So very, very neat. There's um, plenty of pictures, too. So it's a nice, decent book. So I lost the kid, but the dog is going to come over and help us unbox. Oh, I had wanted this. This is Mamas in Pajamas. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I have looked at it, and it just looked like something that my family would enjoy. Um, but it's an illustrated book. So it is a very cute book. So that's more of um, things that, you know, we read. Um, but I did want to add that just because I have a one-year-old, um, that's not the only books that I buy are for one-year-olds. Um, he has a huge library, if you can tell behind me, um, or in his room. He has more downstairs, too. Yeah. Can you clap? There you go. Um, but we don't just read him 
the books that are recommended for his age. Actually, one of my favorite series for him are the Shine a Light books. Um, I just think that they're so neat and interactive. And he's looking at that, and he still um, is listening to what I'm reading, so he's still getting that exposure. So just don't think that you only have to buy the Touchy Philly books if you have a kid his age or younger. Okay, um, this is more consultant um, information. So looks like there's books here just to explain the different consultant kits. Like I said, um, I did the $50 kit because it was a special. Um, I did it the last day that it was available. Um, so it is no longer available. I don't know if they're going to offer that again in the future or not. Because I know it's been two years since they've got an offer like that before. So I just don't know. Okay, what's this? Why just reach for the stars when you can reach for a book and have the whole universe? Again, more consultant information. But it is illustrated and I think it's very eye-popping. I mean, if I was going to a vendor event and I took these, I think that um, it might draw some people in. Very nice. Some more consultant things. Um, your guide to a successful party. So just tell me how to have a successful party if you want to join my team. I mean, I will have the link um, for my page up. Or if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Like I said, I am new to it, but um, so far I'm really enjoying it. Okay, we got a, this is not a math book. I don't really know what it is. Okay, so I think it's an art book. It says, this is no ordinary doodle book. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions and make a dazzling array of awesome mathematical patterns and shapes. Watch as pyramids or spirals emerge from number patterns. Generate tessellating shapes. Discover how to draw a perfect circle, an impossible triangle, and more. So, um, I think it's more like of a doodling type thing. Braxton, don't touch that baby. Don't touch that. I'm so sorry. About that um, he was getting close to the fan. We have air um, in our house, but for some reason his room in um, our room does not get very nice and cool. It's always very warm upstairs. Okay, so it's telling you your toolbox, what you're going to need. So, um, you can just start with a paper and a pencil, but it might help if you have a protractor to create angles, tape, compass, graph paper, plain paper, tracing paper, um, and it just, so it just shows you all the different things to create. Um, it's not something that I would have chose on my own, just because, you know, he is too young for this, obviously, but... You know, it might even be something if I'm bored, I could doodle in it, because, you know, moms need to have fun, too. So, but it is a pretty large book, so some activities would be nice. Okay, this is, um, it looks like something else that is very interactive. It's called yeah. The Rub Down Transfer yeah. Book, The Wild Garden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so in here. Um, there's a pocket. I'm going to open that pocket and see what's inside. Don't want to ruin anything because some of this I might save for his library or I might do um, different giveaways if I maybe go to a vendor event or even um, on my Facebook page. Okay, so inside here there's flowers. Um, if you can see, it's a thin page. And then there's some just like waxy type paper. Yeah, there's a bunch of these. There's flowers, there's fish, no Braxton, there's butterflies, a bunch of different things. So let's um, put these back in here. Braxton, please don't do that. Yeah. He's learning E-I-E-I-O, if you can tell. All right, get that down in there. So let's see. Let's go on it some more and see. It says you'll find the transfers at the front of the book, which is what we just looked at in that little folder. There are tips on how to use them at the back. So let's go to the back and see if it says anything. How to use this book. To create some gorgeous gardens, you'll need a ballpoint pen or a pencil to add the rub down transfers to the right hand pages of this book. 
You can use crayons or felt chip pens to decorate the left hand pages. Using the transfers, take the transfer sheets out of their pocket and find the one with the leaf symbol that ma exactly matches the symbol on the pages you want to work on. Some sheets contain the transfers for two gardens. So to use the transfers, position one of the little pictures over the place you want it to go in the garden. Scribble all over it firmly with a pencil or ballpoint pen, taking care not to touch the pictures around it. When you have gent when you have completely covered the transfer, gently lift the transfer sheet. So that's um, that's just the directions. You'll rub it off, and then it will go on the page, I guess. So let's see what these pages. Okay. So you can really like what some of the pages look. Braxton, come here. Want to come see these books? <laughs> well, this one's counting. This is exciting. Um, you know, he is young, but I, I'm trying to teach him some of the alphabet. And I know he's not going to be able to say his ABCs, but, you know, it's that repetition. Um, and I also count with him a lot. Even if I'm just walking through the grocery stores, the grocery store, um, I'll count steps as I'm walking with him. Just so that gets into his brain. So this says counting through the day. Okay, this is very nice. So this is what it looks like so far. And it's just going to count. Um, let's see how far up it counts. It counts up to 12. And then it goes to 20, which I don't know why it skips to 20, but that just must be the number on the page. And then hundreds, so like obviously it doesn't go from 20 to 100, but it talks about the hundreds. Then the thousands, then the millions, so it's getting to that wide range. So, well, very nice. Illustrations are really pretty. So it starts one cuddly teddy on a brand new day. And I like that it has um, the actual number one, but then it has the word one too, which is nice, especially when we're teaching them. Then two sturdy feet showing me the way. So it's going to be a short book, um, so it is going to be better for that younger group, but very nice. Hey, sweetie. Want to come here? I'm going to do the last book. Oh, it looks like there's one more. Oh, you found a book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one of Mommy's favorites. It's a shine a light book. So Secrets of the Rainforest. Um, these are really neat, like I was saying before. Um, he already has a bunch of these. And I think I'll actually do a video after this one. I forgot to bring a flash. I forgot to bring a flashlight up here um, with us to kind of show you what they are. But, um, okay. So, whenever you're reading a kind of light book, you need some kind of light source. And then it's always going to be on this page if you hold that up to the light. Or if you put a flashlight behind it. Oops. He's trying to leave, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, if you put the flashlight up behind it, different images, so whatever's in the back, is going to shine through the page. Which I know is on the back, but it's just kind of like a peekaboo. So, you know, you're reading it, and it will even, um, the text will match whatever that is. So let's see. On this page it says, Rainforest trees grow tall with wide trunks and long roots. Can you see one very tall tree in the forest? And then if you get the light, I don't know if it's going to work, because like I said, I don't have the flashlight. Um, but this tall tree would show up right there. Um, and like I said, for whatever this is, it's shining through. So it's pretty neat. Um, I've never seen a book quite like these until I came to Us Usborn. Um, and that was one of the first purchases I had made. And I was just wowed with, like, how neat they were. Because, um, you know, you spend the same amount of money just buying a book from a department store. But it's not interactive like that. It's not asking you questions like that. Not making you think. You're not seeing things that aren't, aren't there. Um, but, yeah, so those are one of my favorites. Like I said, I um, just joined. I'm having a party. 
tomorrow, Saturday, July 15th. If anybody would like to join my Facebook party, please let me know. Um, or if anybody would like a, to host a party with me. I am in my incentive period because I have just started. So um, anybody that hosts a party with me now during my incentive party gets double the free books. So if you reach a party that sells $250 worth of merchandise, which is pretty easy if you think about it. invite 10 friends, 10 friends spend $25, there you go. You just sold $250. Um, so instead of getting the regular free books back, you're going to get double. Um, and they do that for the consultants during um, the incentive period, which is pretty cool because who doesn't need more books? As you can see, we're running out of bookshelves um, for our books, but you can't stop the best thing to buy your children. Um, so any questions, um, please let me know. I will leave the link for my S1 page um, below and I'll also, I don't know if I can add two links, but if I can, I'll put my Facebook party up as well. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed this and um, I hope it helped you make the decision of whether or not you want to become a consultant or not. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye everyone.